لَقَدِ بَغَمُ الْفِتْنَةَ مِنْ قَبْلِ They have been creating dissension and chaos for you. وَقَلَّمُوا لَكَ الْمُورِ And they have been upsetting the matters for you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for all these long years at Medina, what they had been doing. 300 of them came back from Uhud. That was the only the third year after the Hijra. And such a big, you know, incident. Out of an army of 1,300 deserters. And, of, and they deserted and they came back when, you know, both the armies were eye to eye with each other. They were within the sight of each of the armies. The morale of the people who remained must also have suffered a shock. We were 1,000. Already we were one-third of the enemy. They are 3,000. We were 1,000. Now from 1,300 and go on, what would be the effect? Natural effect. This natural effect definitely was there. So they have been doing it all along. لَقَدْ اِبْتَغَمُ الْفِتْنَةَ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَقَلَّبُوا لَكَ الْمُورِ حَتَّى جَعَ الْحَقُّ وَزَهَرَ عَبْرُ اللَّهِ until Haq, the truth, came and the decision and decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appeared. This refers to the victory of Bakka. Because this is the ninth year of Hijrah in which these ayat are being revealed. And a year before, rather more than a year before, the Prophet had the victory of Bakka. So that was the final, you know. Symbol of final victory of triumph, final triumph over the Arabian Peninsula. Hatta jaal haq wa zahar abrullah wa hum karehun. They didn't like it. The hypocrites, they didn't like it. Wa min hum man yaqoolu zhalli wa la taftinni. And among them are people who say, oh Prophet, just give me leave. Permit me to hold back and not go. And don't put me to a test. You know, I beg that you don't put me to a test. Allah fil fitna tisakatu. They have fallen in the test. They have already failed in the test. This ayah refers to an incident. There was a munafiq Jad ibn Qais. And you know, he was such a, what to say, you know, such a naughty type of man. He came to the Prophet. Ya Rasulullah, I am a very weak person. And you know, women are my weakness. And these Roman and Syrian women, they are very beautiful. So if I go there, I won't be able to hold myself. So this will be a very big test for me. So it's better, please. You don't put me to that test. Don't put me to the test. They have already failed the test. When they say, I don't want to go to fight for the cause of Allah, they have failed the test. And definitely, hell has already encircled all these kuffar. If some good fortune comes to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and to the Muslims, tasuhum. They feel sorry for it. They are offended. And if some calamity befalls, some misfortune, some unpleasant thing comes to you, they say, oh, we had taken care of our, our affairs already. We were not fools like them to put ourselves into such dangers and risks and risk our lives and property. So we, we have taken care of everything. And then they go back and they rejoice that this calamity has befallen the Muslims and this loss has come to them. They rejoice. Now this ayat is very important. Every one of us should remember this ayah by heart. Tell them nothing can befall us. Except that which our Lord, our Rabb, ma katab Allahu lana. Allah has written for us. He has decreed. He has decided for us. Huwa maulana. And He is our Lord. He is our protector. He is our friend. Ke hatte saqiyamari ekhtaari al tafast. 
वट एवर माई फ्रेंड यू नो पुट डाउन इन माई ग्लास इट्स ऑल हिज बाउंटी ही नोज बेटर वट इज गुड फॉर मी वेदर विक्ट्री इज गुड फॉर मी और बींग किल्ड इन दिन दे ऑफ अ लाइफ बेटर फॉर मी सो वी जस्ट गिव अवर सेल्स टू दिल ऑफ अल्लाह दिस कॉल तफवीज उल अमरी We give up our affairs in the hands of Allah. Ba fum wa duamri lillah in Allah basirun bil ibad. He very well knows. He is seeing what are my conditions. Whatever he decides is good for me. Qul lan yusibana illa ma katab Allah lana huwa maulana. Wa ala Allah faliyat wa kalil mu'minun. And the believers must put their whole faith and trust in Allah. قُلْ هَلْ تَرَبَّصُونَ بِنَا إِلَّا هِدَ الْأُسْنَيَنَ And another ayah. These two ayahs are very important for every Muslim, especially a person who has this dynamic concept of deen and who has decided to devote his life for this jihad and for this struggle to establish the deen of Allah. Because examinations after examinations, texts and tribulations and trials after trials will be coming. So these two ayahs. قل لن يصيبنا الا ما كتب الله لنا هو مولانا وعلى الله فليتوكل المؤمنون قل هل تربصون بنا الا بنا الا اهدى الحسنين سي دو يو ويت فور اس وات كان يو ويت فور اس اكسبت تو فيري جود ريزلتس اهدى الحسنين حسنا از فيمينين اوف احسن فروم اكبر كبرى فروم اعظم عظما احسن حسنا Ehdal hustayel, two most beautiful, you know, results can come to us. Even if we are more tired, it's the best that we can get. Even if we and if we return victorious, then you will also say that it is good for us. So there's no fear of anything bad for us. For a real moment, nothing bad can come to him. The worst is that he loses his life, and he thinks it is the best. As you know, I gave you the couplet: "Bul Hasar marne pe ho jiski umi na umi di uski dekha chahiye." Who has put all his hopes in dying for the cause of for some cause? Oh, he will not have to despair at any stage. He is ready to give everything. Kol hal tarab basuna bina illa ehdal husnayen. Two of the best rewards. Wa nahnu na tarab basu bekum, and we are also waiting for you. ان يصيبكم الله بعذاب من عنده ايدر الله سبحانه وتعالى انفلكس يو وذ سب تورمنت اند چستسمنت فروم هيم او بايدينا اور اون اور هاندز مي بي هي الاوز اس تو پنش يو اپ تل ناو وي هاف نوت بين الاوود تو پنش يو وي هاف ٹیکن يو ایز مسلمز بیکاز يو 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 ار ٹیسٹیفائنگ دیت دیر از نو گاڈ ایکسپٹ اللہ اینڈ محمد از مسنجر We have accepted you as Muslims, but maybe a time comes when Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala takes this cover off from you, and He allows us to punish you. وَنَحْنُ نَتَرَبَّصُ بِكُمْ أَنْ يُسِيبَكُمُ اللَّهُ بِعَذَابٍ مِنْ إِنْدِهِ أَوْ بِأَدِينَا فَتَرَبَّصُوا إِنَّا مَعَكُمْ مُتَرَبِّسُونَ So now wait, you also and we are also waiting. قُلْ أَنْفِقُوا تَعْنُ أَوْ كَرْهَا Tell them, say to them. Whether you spend for the cause of Allah willingly or forcibly, forcing yourself, not liking it, la yu taqabbala minkum, it will not be accepted from you now. Now this was their, you know, their habit. Whenever you know such a time came, now go in shurufi sabirillah, go to fight for the cause of Allah. Oh Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, grant me permission not to go, but I am ready to donate this much. so that you know this becomes a compensation for not going and that was only to cover up they are covered this now here allah subhanahu wa taala has declared now their donations will not be accepted qul anfiqu ta'an aur karhan la yutaqabbala minkum indakum kuntum qauman fasiqin now you have really transgressed and you have just joined really and actually joined the transgressors مسلم 
that actually all iman has gone from them it's only a veneer you know the termite when it eats the wood it leaves leaves a, a veneer intact so that people who own the house they don't know that that this all this the whole wood has been eaten away they leave that that veneer intact so wise are they in the same way this veneer of of legal islam was intact but from within the whole of iman had gone so really they were now kafirs although legally they had the cover of islam wa ma manahu man tuqbala minhum nafaqatuhum illa annahum kafaru billahi wa bi rasulihi they have already committed kufr and rejected allah as well as his messenger wala yatuna salata illa wa hum kusala and they don't approach prayer salah but only lazily because they have to you know keep themselves counted as muslims wala yunfiquna illa wa hum karihun and they don't spend anything they don't donate anything except unwillingly not from their own hearts not willingly fala tujib ka amwalahum wala auladuhum so o oh prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam don't be amazed at their riches as well as their children inma yuridu allah an yu'azzibahum biha fil hayati dunya what allah intends is to punish them to chastise them on account of these very two things in this life of this world their children will be rebelling against them they will become a source of chastisement and azab in this world this mal this belonging this property this riches always fearing that they it, it is lost less it is gone so actually they are being punished in this life also so actually these two things you know they would become the basis and vehicle of punishment for them in this worldly life watasaqa anfusuhum wa hum kafirun and their souls will go out of their bodies in this state of kufr wa yahlifuna billahi innahum la minkum and they swear by allah subhanahu wa taala that they are from amongst you we are with you we are also mu'mins just trust us it was actually you know for me for me it became impossible i wanted from the very depths of my heart to go with you but i swear by allah subhanahu wa taala don't suspect don't have any suspicions about my iman wa yahlifuna billahi innahum la minkum wa ma hum minkum actually they are not from amongst you lakin nahu qaumun yafraqun they are afraid of you they can't declare their kufr they know now muhammad is the authority in the whole of arabia they know the muslim you know the tables have already been turned after the victory of makka who can challenge them now so because they are afraid they don't say openly that we don't believe in what you believe and they have to say that we are also mu'mins but it's only out of fear 